Hello and welcome back. So let's troubleshoot the image problem. Uh, it's not uploading our image and I haven't tried to debunk or to troubleshoot it outside before recording this video because I want you to see the entire process as that helps with uh, learning. So here it seems we are leaving a gap if the image does not exist. So what we want to do is instead of just trying to display the image like this, we should put a question mark here for if the file exists. So let's put a PHP here and say if file exists like this. Okay. And then let's put end if. Like so. Alrighty then, so let's refresh, at least that's better. Now let's see why the image isn't saving. So let's try image question test. So I'll try this and this time I want to block the... Um... Oh, wait a minute. In order for us to upload images, we need a, um, what do we need? Let's go back to add subjective, yes. Okay, so we already have this, so that's good. Multi-part form data. Mm -hmm. So that should help us to, um, hmm, yeah, so that should help us to upload images. Now, let me freeze the, let's go back to single test right here. So I want to drop everything right here and just say die so that it doesn't save. We can avoid saving too many things as we are testing. And I want to, um, to see what's inside this. So say show files. Okay, so back here, let me upload an image in the same image. Let's try that and save question. So that array is empty. Hmm, so why be it empty? Let's go back to the source. right here. Uh -huh. So let's go to the browse thingy. So this is type file. So I think the reason is we don't have a name for it. So name is equal to image. I think that's probably the problem. So the input of file had no name. So back here, let's refresh and let's say a test question with an image. Let's browse again, an image, save. Okay, so we are in luck this time. So that's good. Let's go back to the single test and let's remove this and the die as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, before I move away from this let me just confirm that we uploaded and there we go we did manage to upload something so that's cool and let me come back to the functions.php let me see the file naming convention here so the thing is we have this file name here which means if we repeat uploading the same file we're going to replace it again because the file name will be the same so this will cause problems because if i upload the same file for two different questions and then i delete one question it may delete that file and then it will delete uh, the same file for another question so instead let's make it more uh, dynamic here so we're just going to add the current time so i'll just put the function time like so and then concatenate an underscore like this and then add the file name finally 
So the file name will be the folder and then the current time, which is an integer in seconds. So it's just a very long number. And then after that, there'll be an underscore and the actual file name. Now this number is always unique because time doesn't reverse. So we'll make sure that uh, there's no, this does not correspond to another file that will be, will be uploaded a second later. So this is good. Now we have this. So you will see how this will change once we upload the second one. So let's give it a shot and see. So I will refresh this to make sure that this time we save. And there we go. Pretty cool. So the fact that we have, we have this, it means it knows there's an image. Now, if we come back here, you will see that uh, the file name is underscore time and then underscore oh this is not the, the right one this is this where is this this one yeah there we go so there's this one and there's this one so both are saved and they look the same but this one has a timestamp at the beginning so that makes it unique okay so once we are done with this this is cool mm -hmm. now about the display yeah if i inspect this element and let's see everything looks great doesn't it the only problem is we don't have the root attached to it so let's go back to the view so right here we want to add root dot like this and let's see how that works so nothing yet we have root the only problem is we don't have the um, uh, the slash here so let's add it so i'm going to put that in a quote and then concatenate that as well this will separate the public and uploads because right now they are one word it's public uploads one word so if i now refresh we get an actual image so pretty cool uh, so now you can use an actual image as a question so it's a you can say something like uh, please check the image below and then they will check the image and then they can answer the question after so here these are just questions no need to answer so now let's deal with the edit and delete of particular questions mm -hmm. right so i will see you in the next video